an 18 year old boy that goes and gets a rifle and he shoots his grandmother in the head and he goes on Facebook and he said, I shot my grandmother and I'm gonna shoot in elementary school. And then he jumps in a car and he drives to the nearest elementary school and he kills 19 grade schoolers and two teachers. And all the while he knew he wasn't gonna get out of there alive. He was committing suicide with me. So why did he have that? You, you can hear so many people talking about what the problem is, right? You know what was wrong with that kid? He was so alone that life got to a point where it had no value to him. His life had no value to him. Nobody does that kind of thing if they have any value for their own life. And the value in, in the life of everybody else had no value to his either. I mean, here at our church, we have, we have kids in grade school. And we just adore them. And their lives are so precious and so valuable. Can you imagine someone who looks at them and says, they have no value, no meaning? This is something that's repeating itself over and over and over in our country. You know why? It's because we, we, so many of our people have disconnected themselves from God. And listen, hearts go dark when they are disconnected from God. And you can spend a lot of years trying to fill it with a whole lot of stuff. But we were made to have a connection to God. We were made to be filled by the presence of God. And if you don't have that, it'll kill you. You might die from loneliness. You might die from something self-inflicted. Your heart might break. Pain just might be too much for you. They need Jesus. They need Jesus. And we just, we just can't be silent about that anymore. They need Jesus. 